Hello everyone, this is Battle Phoenix here, and today we're going to be doing another memory video, and this time it'll be on the PlayStation 1. Because as you know before, I did it on the SNES, but now I'm going to be doing it on the PS1 because it was the second console that I ever owned, and I first got it back in 1997 on Christmas Day. It was given to me by my dad, which is actually pretty awesome, and that, during that time I've actually grown up to like the PS1 quite a lot, even though I never really owned a lot of games for it for like a long time, I mostly just rented a lot or played some games at friends' houses, but either way though, I still had a pretty enjoyable experience with the PlayStation 1. So without further ado, let's continue on. Now this right here is my PlayStation 1. Now unfortunately this is not my original one that I got back in 1997, because ever since I got the PlayStation 2, I decided to give away my PS1 to someone else that I knew, since I never thought I'd be using it again since that the PlayStation 2 is backwards compatible. Yeah, it would have been nice to actually keep my original one, but uh, what can you say, I was younger and I was stupid. But either way though, that's just the system. Which I do not think needs any introduction at all, so let's talk about the games. First game we're going to mention is the Crash Bandicoot games. Mostly number 2, because number 2 was the first PlayStation 1 game that I ever owned. Although unfortunately I don't actually own a copy of it anymore since my original one broke somehow. I have no idea how it happened, but it just didn't work. But I do have a digital copy of it on my PS3, but I will want to get an actual copy at some point in time. But either way though, these games were amazingly fun. And were also really challenging at times, and I also really like the music too. Very nostalgic, I find. And I also remember this game took me a really long time to beat when I was a kid. But I think for the most part though, if you owned a PS1, it's very likely that you have played at least one of the Crash Bandicoot games before. Either it be the three main titles within the series, or even the racing one, or the party minigame one called Crash Bash. But yes, I think it's easy to say that this is actually a great franchise on the PlayStation 1. And the next set of games we're going to mention is the Deception series, which I'm sure you all know that I really love this series since I did do a review on all of them. Although the one we're mainly going to focus on is the first one since that was the second PlayStation game I ever owned, but it is the oldest PS1 game that I still own a copy of. Yep, that one right there is the very first copy I ever owned. Even though it is in poor condition, it's at least been through a lot, but at least it still works flawlessly. Now if you've seen my review for this game, then you know for a fact that I love this game. It was just such a very unique experience, since I have never seen any other game like this at all. Now one thing you will probably laugh at is that I used to be kind of afraid of this game since it was like a really big haunted house game, so I knew that it was going to be scary. But the main thing that I did find to be creepy with this game when I was a kid was when you're walking in the hallway and all you just see is this big blackness that you can't even see like everything in front of you then as soon as you get closer to the end of the hallway then everything starts clearing up and I thought there would be like some like scary face was gonna like pop out at you at some point but thank god there's no screamers in this game but either way though this is one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 1 and also very nostalgic and the next game we're gonna mention is GTA 2 aka Grand Theft Auto 2 Yes, this was the first GTA game that I ever played in my life. Even though I have played the first one before, but it was only a demo. But either way though, this game is actually pretty awesome for its time. Now sure, it may be like very outdated compared to the latest one that came out, but you know, it's still very fun, even though the graphics may not look like the same, but hey, it's still very fun, funny, and also it's very amusing just to like drive around and shit. But you wanna know one thing about this game that still makes me laugh is that there's actually a burp and fart button in this game, and that is actually hilarious. I know, how immature of me. But seriously though, it is pretty funny just to like spam the hell out of that button though. Now we're gonna take a look at Jade Cocoon, which I believe was the first RPG that I've played on this system. I really can't remember if it was either this game or another one that I'll be mentioning, but either way though, this game is actually really interesting. Now this is an RPG that you take control over a guy and then you can actually capture monsters that you fight. Now I know, doesn't that sound like something else that you know, perhaps it really starts with a P and ends with an N? Well yes, it is very similar to Pokemon, but however, one thing that is different in this one is that what's per se that like the trainer in this game also gets to join the fight too. And I found that idea to be pretty damn cool, if you ask me. And I remember the first time that I played this game was at a friend's house, and I remember that the cover got my attention because I thought it looked kind of interesting, so that was kind of why I wanted to play it. Now unfortunately I can't explain too much about this game since it does contain a lot of spoilers since it is an RPG, so either way though, it is a really interesting PlayStation 1 game that tends to get overlooked sometimes. Now we're going to take a look at 
the Twisted Metal games. Now, the only Twisted Metal game that I actually own a copy of is Twisted Metal 4, which I know happens to be like the black sheep of the series, but, but it was the first one that I ever bought and the second one that I ever played. But the first one that I ever played was the Twisted Metal 2. So knowing that the only other Twisted Metal game I played was 2, I wasn't really suspecting too much out of 4, so that's why I really liked it. But this is also a very popular franchise within the PlayStation 1, so I am very sure that a lot of people are going to have great memories with these series of games, whether it be the first, the second, the third, the fourth, or maybe even Small Brawl, even though I know that one came out like when the PS2 was out, but hey, you never know. But probably one of the most memorable things within this series of games that I always remembered is seeing Sweet Tooth in his ice cream truck. Also, Mr. Grimm is another favorite character of mine as well. But yes, this is probably one of the best car combat games that I've played. Now we're going to take a look at Medieval. And I do not have this game, but I have rented it many times and also played the demo. But I do have a copy of Medieval 2, but I didn't grow up playing with that one. I mostly grew up playing with the first one. Now this is a very fun action adventure game, and I also really like the graphics in it too. And when I was younger, I did find that the music in this game was a little bit creepy though, but I did get used to it eventually. And in one way, this game kind of reminds me of Ghosts and Goblins in a weird way. Not exactly like it though, but just in like that weird sense that you're just a night guy just like trying to like walk around in like a graveyard and just like slaying down zombies and stuff. I mean, at least that part of it kind of reminds me of it. But this was also a pretty popular game with on the PlayStation, so that's actually another really good thing. Even though there was only two games on the PlayStation 1, but I think they did make one on the PSP as well if I remember right. But either way though, that's something we can get into at another time. But yes, Medieval kicks ass. Next one we're going to take a look at is Monster Rancher. I have never owned this game before, but I have rented it once before. And the main reason why I rented this game was because this was around when the show was around, and I really liked the show when I was a kid. So I thought I was like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna rent the game to see how that goes. And the game's actually pretty good. Even though as a kid I fucking sucked at it, and pretty much all you have to do is you have to breed like your creatures and monsters and stuff to make new ones, and then you can train them and stuff, which is actually really cool. But I sucked at it as a kid because I had no idea what the fuck I was doing most of the time. And one thing about this game that I never really understood why people compared it, but a lot of people compared this game to Pokemon, which I don't know why, considering the fact that they're nothing alike, since in Pokemon you're capturing Pokemon and training them, and this one, you're catching monsters and like breeding them and stuff. Swish, I don't know how they got their resemblance to that, but whatever. It was just such a big debate that I remember having with like a bunch of people that I knew at the time when they were playing Pokemon and then I rented this game and I told them that, that I was playing it and they were just saying a bunch of shit about it. But either way though, I thought this game was pretty cool. And for this one, we're gonna take a look at Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Okay, now if you are familiar with my channel and you already know me already, then you're probably wondering, why the hell am I mentioning this here in a memory video? Yes, when I did do a review of this game, I didn't say it was good, but I didn't say it was bad either. But however, it is very nostalgic to me. Well, for one, this game came out around the time when I was like first getting into Yu-Gi-Oh, so I really wanted to try this game out to see how it was. And one thing I cannot stress is that the music in this game is really good. Even if you don't like Yu-Gi-Oh at all, I would recommend you to listen to the OST. I think you'll actually like it. And to me, that is the best part of the game, and probably the most memorable as well. Also, another thing I like to mention is that when you're looking through like the monsters and stuff and the 3D images, I thought that was really cool. But yes, even now, this game is very frustrating, and oh my god, you can imagine how frustrating it was back then when I was a kid. So, it may be a very cheap and frustrating game like that, but it is something that I will remember on the PlayStation 1. And the next one we're going to take a look at is Jersey Devil. And I'm not talking about the hockey team, although I really do wonder if that's how this game was named after, but either way, whatever. This was a game I remember renting as a kid, and it was around Halloween time, and I thought that this game looked really cool, so I thought, like, oh, you know what, this game looks cool, I'll rent it. And from what I remember, this game was actually pretty fun as a kid, although it was really hard, but I do remember it being fun and somewhat challenging. And yeah, I know, it's kind of weird that you're controlling a guy in a purple devil suit, but I don't know, I thought that was pretty creative. But maybe this is a game I should probably pick up at some point, since it is actually pretty fun, and I have not seen it around in a long time. But I also do remember that this game does get a little bit overlooked too, or at least it is like kind of like a forgotten game. But either way though, it's pretty good I'd say. Now let's take a look at one more game from my childhood within the PlayStation 1 that I remember playing growing up. And that one game is... Final Fantasy IX. 
Now this was the game that I was referring to before as it was either this one I played first or it was Jade Cocoon. I can't remember which one it was but it was either one of the two. But I do remember that this was the second Final Fantasy game that I ever played. And even to this day as we speak, this is actually my favorite Final Fantasy game, or at least one of them. I don't know, it's really hard to say, but it's either between this one or Final Fantasy VI, technically three, or whatever you want to call it. But yes, this is one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. I really like the characters, the story, and even like the graphics and the music and whatnot. I think it's all really well done. Now as again, since it is an RPG, and a very good one no less, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'll just leave it at that. But I think it's pretty obvious that if you played on the PlayStation 1 and you liked RPGs, I think it's pretty obvious that you're going to at least play one Final Fantasy game, no matter which one it was. Now that is just some of the games that I have played for within my childhood within the PlayStation 1 library. And I'm sure you're all probably wondering, is like, what do I think about Metal Gear, Final Fantasy 7, and Castlevania Sympathy of the Night? Well, those games are very enjoyable, and I really like all three of them, but however, I did not really play them while I was growing up, like, I think, like, I first played them within, like, 2005, 2006, or, like, sometime in between there. I don't know, I don't really exactly remember, but it was, like, way a little bit later on. But, of course, there's other many great games was on the PlayStation that I didn't mention, though, but, you know, that'd take forever if I decided to mention all of them, so... So, before I end this, I want to ask you, what are some of your favorite PlayStation 1 memory games? So now, let's end this thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and commenting.